this is Legomatic9, and today I'm coming at you with another custom Lego Battlefield 4 minifigure. And by popular demand, I have the United States Recon Kit. So you guys have been requesting this figure both on my Flickr page as well as on my YouTube page and on mainly on the um, on the Engineer Kit Showcase. So, uh, by popular demand, as I said before, here is the Recon Kit. Alright guys, so here is the United States Recon Kit. So, first off, he is equipped with an M82 from Minifig Hat, which is in the game, actually. It is one of the... Uh, where I've seen it, I haven't really unlocked it for the snipers yet because I haven't really explored the world of snipers all that much. I think right now I'm just up to the SV-98. But this is one of the uh, weapons you can grab off the ground in uh, several different maps. I'm pretty sure it has some rogue transmission, um, maybe uh, seizure Shanghai, but I'm just not exactly sure where that's from. But on this rifle, I did add some silver weathering on it to make it look like it was battle damaged, which you can kind of uh, see a little glimpse of right there. So I'm just going to set that off to the side right now so we can just focus on the figure. So... Starting off with the legs, it is pretty much, oh, it's very similar to the engineer's legs. It's got the um, the uh, dark tan and uh, brown boots on there that go all the way around. Um, I know, after I painted this, I figured out that his legs were cracked, which I was really disappointed with. But hopefully um, none of the other ones are cracked because I haven't really checked those. And then above his boots, he has these little, uh, like the black boot covers, I think. They're just like these things that go, uh, like they're lying on top of his boots and they go up to uh, like halfway up his, uh, up his calf. Uh, they go up there. And then he's got the tiny tactical CP knee pads glued on there. Then he's got the brown detail on the pants right there. Then he just has a camo design that's going all the way around. And then on this side, on his right leg... He has a tiny tactical cargo pocket glued on there, which I think looks pretty nice. Moving on to the torso, he has a dark tan B20 tactical vest for Minifig Cat that has been painted up. On the pouches, it's got the tan uh, little buckles or straps or whatever. Uh, on the center, he's got this weird black and tan design that was on there. It's supposed to be some sort of like device or some sort of radio, but I didn't really have any pieces that would look like that, so I just decided to paint it on there. Then on his straps on his vest, he's got some light gray, uh, light gray buckles. And then on the straps themselves, they have some brown detailing on there, brown accents. On the back, he's just got the little walkie-talkie that's been painted black. So, yeah, it looks pretty cool. On his arms, now this, for some reason, I had trouble with this figure. I don't know why, but it was just the glue was not cooperating. But he has the uh, dark tan... Tiny, tiny tactical shoulder po angled shoulder pockets glued on there. For some reason, I was having a really hard time with these, uh, with those pat, with those pockets. They're just really aggravating me. Like it did well on the first one I made, which was on the assault kit. It's got angled shoulder pads, but for this one, it was just aggravating me for some weird reason. Also, one thing I forgot to mention is that on his legs right there, uh, like on the leg assembly, he's got a brown belt that goes all the way around with a uh, light gray buckle on there. So moving up towards the head, he's got the same bandana that is used by my uh, Daryl Dixon figure. I just took it off of him because Daryl only wore it for one scene, so I'm moving it in onto this figure. Then uh, he also has a painted clone trooper face from the new, uh, from like, uh, like the realistic, like the movie lines that have been coming out, like with the episode two troopers and now with the Revenge of the Sith troopers. So I got that painted on there. He's got some uh, dark gray, uh, like, stripes or, like, type, kind of, like, camouflage stripes going across his face. Uh, then he's got some, like, black uh, weathering on there and stuff to make it look like his face is kind of dirty. So moving on to the hat. This is a minifig hat boonie hat, which actually sufficed really well because I was planning on ordering a Brick Arms boonie hat. But then I looked at this one and I was already making an order from minifig hat anyway. So I was like, you know, what? why not give it a shot? And I think it turned out really nice and I'm really loving how it came out. So it's got the black electrical tape that goes all the way around and it meets right there. Um, so that, going, that goes all the way around. And then on the entire hat, it has the camouflage painted on there. So if I take him off his stand, you guys can see it's like under the under the 
brim right there. Goes all the way around. Oh. And then it also goes on to the top right there. So he just does not want to stick in my hands, but I'm going to be taking him apart anyway, uh, just to give you guys another look at him. So here he is without his bandana, which looks pretty cool. Put that back on there. Let me get the bandana. So that's what he looks like without his bandana. He's got the clone trooper face on there. He also has a little brown uh, detailing around the collar of that uh, of the vest. So that is what the recon looks like without his bandana. I think it turned out pretty nice. So I just gotta put the bandana on there. The only weird thing about this is that it doesn't go all the way around. I don't really want to mod this uh, this vest anymore. So you kind of have to like kind of have to like push it down a little bit to get it to fit properly. So we'll put that back on, on there and we'll give him his sniper back. So yeah, then weapons and accessories as well as I told you, uh, the, um, the M82. Uh, he also has the C4 explosive which is really known for the recon kits because that is why everybody hated them in battle hates them in battlefield 4 still because they had the c4 as like the initial unlock rather than support and then i also made a little detonator for it uh, which is a just brick arm stun grenade that is has some uh dark tan detailing painted on there so you guys will see a better look at that in the conclusion so that is it for the recon kit. So let's jump right into the conclusion of this video. All right guys, so that pretty much sums it up for this video. Right in front of you guys, I have the recon with his C4, which I didn't really explain what the C4 was made out of, and it's just made out of a Lego one by one tan tile with some electrical tape cut up and taped around it to give that kind of like strapped on pattern look. And then I also have the engineer, which was the last video or the first video I made from Battlefield 4. So then behind the dirt bike, which was the big one of the big things in China Rising because there's so much fun to drive around. I was actually driving around on it with my buddy and we're going around defibrillating people from the behind. So it was pretty awesome. Uh, then behind them, you have the assault kit and the uh, support kit back there which I still have to show you guys, so let me know which one you guys want to see next. Uh, both of them are really awesome, so um, really cool. The support kit was actually the very first one I made, so that's kind of cool. So just a preview, uh, I have been working on Walking Dead figures a lot recently as well. So I have a, um, I've got a new Daryl that is in work in progress. I just have to get a uh, head in the mail, which should be coming in soon. Uh, so like here's like a preview of him. I've just got like I repainted his torso and I've been adding some stuff onto him. And then I have uh, Lily Chambler and Tara Chambler all done. So those people will be in the next video with Tyrese and Mitch Dolgan. So that would be really cool. Then also one other big thing, uh, I guess a few other big things is. Um, while I'm recording this video, I haven't reached 5,000 subscribers yet, but I know once this will get uploaded, I will. So I'm just going to say thank you guys for now. It's definitely a really big thing. It's a huge, huge thing for me for, to be able to have 5,000 subscribers. Now, I, wasn't th I wouldn't think I'd be able to make it that far, but like I gained, well, I was at 4,000 in August, so it's just insane for like four or five months later to have, be at 5,000. That is just amazing. I really want to thank you guys for all your support you guys have been giving me. Um, it is just amazing. And uh, I don't know if I'll make a separate video for that, but we'll see. Uh, so thank you guys again for that. It's just amazing. And then another little side project I just want to tell you guys is that um, I'm, it's like a, it's kind of a secret project right now. It's not really like huge. It's just four figures that I'm redoing that I made about uh, maybe almost a year ago and I'm redoing them uh, with my buddy Andrew or Andrew VXTC as you guys know him. Um, I'm remaking some figures so that's gonna be really awesome and they're gonna look outstanding so like here's a little preview of what's to come this is just the old version but these guys are being remade again so that's gonna be really really sweet so thank you guys for watching I really appreciate it if you guys leave a comment below telling me which figure you want to see next from Battlefield 4 or just figures in general. I'm already scheduling to have the last 501st video up uh, after this. And then Star Wars set reviews, I have no idea. I have no idea what I'm doing for those because shipping is so freaking expensive. Like the sets themselves aren't expensive, it's just the international shipping. Like I was looking at a store and they have the Utapau Troopers for 15 bucks 
but then shipping is 35 so I'm just like oh no never mind so I don't know if I'll be reviewing any of those before March um, hopefully Toys R Us will start getting them soon so I'll be able to review them then so thank you guys for watching as I said before yeah, yeah, I really appreciate it if you guys leave a comment below. Also, click that like button. And also, I haven't mentioned this in any of my, in any of my other videos, but links to my Facebook page, so uh, that's in the description below. So go out and like my Facebook page because I am updating a whole bunch of awesome stuff uh, with that. So stay tuned on there. I released a little previews here and there. And then uh, with uh, Flickr, go on there. I already released a picture, like a sh little showcase kind of thing for the recon kit. So if you guys are in touch with my Flickr account, then you guys would have already seen them. So uh, then that's pretty much it, guys. So thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later.